Jake Beard RC. In this video, we're going to take a look at Hobbywing programming card. I received this in the post with um, my Max 10 um, for my quick run 10BL120. Um, and I had absolutely no idea how to use it. So I consulted YouTube and there wasn't a great deal of videos on there. And the ones that were on there were not very informative. Um, this does multiple ESCs. So it'll do an easy run, a quick run, the Max 10s, the 10BL 120s. And the only difference you'll see is it has a sticker that replaces over here to match which ESC you have. Now, I didn't receive the stickers. Some have a sticker that got that is already applied to the back for the different programming. So down here and here are what this does out of the box. Now, when you plug that into the Max 10, there is 11 settings and on here, there is 12 and they're all in the wrong order. Now, what you'll find is, if you just bear with me while I just get the manual, on here is the, let's see if I can get it. This is a printed one, the manual I've got is out of the way. This is what the programming table is for the Max 10. SCT. Now, the the modes on here do not match here, but when you plug this in, it automatically recognises the Max 10 SCT, and it then puts 11 programming things on, not 12, and the numbers correlate to what's on here. So, running mode, two options. At LiPo cells, th four options. Low voltage cutoff. Four options and so on and so forth down the row until you get to 11 which is drag brake force and it has eight sorry nine options now all this works fantastically and it corrugates that but if you have the 10 bl 120 it's different again now some people will buy these like i did uh, separate and they don't come with the sticker sheet so every ESC comes with its own table because obviously you can use the buttons on the ESC to program the ESC now this table isn't the same as this table it's completely different and it doesn't relate to what's on there why because this should come with stickers and it doesn't um, and you can't buy the sticker separately. And I'm not buying a new program card. But I have here a list of what option does what on the 10BL120. So running mode, three options, drag brake force, eight options, so on and so forth. So you have a hard copy of both. And then on here, you have item, which is one two three four and so on and this one is what option you want so if you wanted to change for instance the running mode on the 10 bl you go to option one and then this would be the, the the value so if you wanted to for instance let's put this here because is easy. so running mode you get three options so you get forward and brake forward brake reverse forward reverse so it's out of the factory it's set to forward brake reverse you can obviously change that but so that'll be number two you can change that by using these values so you have item which changes this number so which option it is and you have 
value which changes the value and then you have a reset and an okay so if you go through down to four which is start mode it comes to options it'll go to option for it item four and the value will be preset to seven which is level seven on start mode so how fast it starts and then you can adjust that by pressing the value and then when you have selected the value you want press ok and that'll program it so you could change that from level 7 to level 1 and it'll start slower press the ok all set and you can go through all the options on that so what you do is you forget what's on here and you go off what's on here so it correlates to what's in it which is really good if you'd work that out prior now on the max 10 sorry i'm just getting the max the car with the max 10 you have to remove the fan wire which is all all well said and done easy so you got the camera shaking Ugh. but when you've got everything plugged in it's not as easy so what you have to do is you have to remove the fan wire which is there and then on the ESC is a, is a label and on here where the wire is it's a label so you have earth live and the pulse so you line it up with the same so it's going the same direction and you plug that in and that's in and when that's in it's ready to program so what we need is a battery and plug the battery in and then when we turn the ESC on like so programming car comes on and you'll notice item value will lit up now on here item one value two so you can change the value by pressing the value button oh, so it only gives two options which is exactly what it tells you on the instructions so it was set to two so leave to two so we're going to go down on the item so we're on two item one is set to one which is lipo cells which is auto calibrate um three is three which is better if i had it the other way low voltage cutoff which is set to three which is auto and intermediate and then you go down until you get to 11 and 11's on there now on here it says 12 you press it again one so it automatically detects what ESC is connected, which I think is absolutely amazing. Um, turn it off. Remove the, the wire. Remember to plug your fan back in. But also remember to plug your fan back in the right way. Sorry about the shaky camera. It's on my table today. Um, can't get in my workshop. Um, I've had a problem in the power um, so I'm going to make sure I plug that back in so I don't forget because obviously I want the fan to work and then if we just check that the fan works before we yep yeah, there we go so that's how you use the programming card on a hobby wing which 
hope that'll help somebody because like I said I was looking and I couldn't find a decent video out there that explained to me how to use it um, so hopefully that'll help somebody somewhere and if it does that makes me happy so I'm going to end the video there if you like we see like and subscribe smash the bell button check us out at Facebook uh, Big Beard RC on Facebook and I'll see you on another video. Take care, everyone.